Hi, I'm Rob Harrison from Longhead Music. We're a social enterprise record label and recording studio, a community interest company who exists to help musicians who can't afford studio time make products out of their songs and sell them online. I heard about the Open Rights Group in a podcast interview on the This Week in Tech news network. I was immediately interested because I'd heard about the good work groups like the EFF have been doing in the US, but we need someone like the Open Rights Group fighting for our rights online in the UK. We found ourselves in the absurd situation where we were unable to sell our own music, the music we created online. Some of our musicians were members of the Performing Rights Society, or PRS, and although we spent nearly a year trying to license the songs, the PRS were unwilling to sell us a license which would allow us to compete with the huge online music retailers. We would have been left behind in the 90s. With our cloud music service shut down, we contacted everyone we could to find out what our rights were. The Intellectual Property Office, the PPL, iTunes, even the PRS themselves couldn't give us any information. In the end, I contacted the Open Rights Group and explained my situation. They put me in touch with a barrister on their legal team who read through the PRS's Articles of Association and was able to give me some answers. It turns out that the PRS themselves owned all of my musicians' music while they remained members, and they had little legal rights to their own music. Upon hearing the findings from the Open Rights Group, all of my musicians decided to forfeit their meagre PRS royalties and start the lengthy process of leaving the PRS. Today we ensure all our musicians remain in control of their copyrights and have all of the facts. Major record labels, publishing houses and movie studios will always have lobbyists advising the government on intellectual property issues. It's vitally important that there is someone like the Open Rights Group fighting our corner on behalf of the individual content creators. In this age of mass surveillance and censorship, if you believe in freedom of speech and freedom of expression, I suggest you consider supporting the Open Rights Group as a campaigner for all our rights online. And finally, thank you to everybody at the Open Rights Group who gave us the support when we desperately needed it.